Hi, it's Leslie, 90 Day Fiance, the other way. And we're talking about Josh and Lily. And I am sticking to my original thought that I feel that Josh has stepped into it. You know, unlike all these other flunkies, Josh has actually found himself in a better situation, which most of them cannot say. But you know what? Good for you, Josh. He is now living large in China with his love, Lily. But Lily kind of runs the show, and I feel like if Josh doesn't just get in line and do as he's told, this will, this will not work out for them. But anyway, the wonderful meeting as he showed up after a long plane ride, and Lily's there to greet him. Oh my God, a baby! <laughs> And she takes him in and, you know, all her hard work, she gives him that beautiful house tour that she spent a half a mil on, which for all that's done, maybe the house was pretty good before she got to it. it it's obviously that house in the U.S. would be way more money than half a million dollars. Um, I'm assuming it's just touching it up for a half a million. But anyway, they go on a lovely house tour. And Lily does not let it uh, go unknown that she has spent a lot of money on this and she is basically broke putting out this massive bill to for her man to be happy in this beautiful house. Uh, I have tried hard work, hard, a lot of money. This is starting to grate on Josh. You know, you'd think you'd still be in that lovey-dovey honeymoon stage of just seeing each other, but you know what? It's kind of getting to him that she can't get over the money. Lily always, you know, reminds me of how much money she spends for the house. It's exhausting. You know, I don't need to hear it. I just got here. I don't want to be reminded of how much money she spends on me. Anyway, and these are the couple to beat, so not looking good here. But anyway, and this, I mean, although not the biggest thing, but it is somewhat telling if you ask me. Josh has not seen his lovely bride in how long? I don't know, many, many months. He gets there after a long flight. Don't just sleep on the flight. I mean, you'd think you'd be so wired with anticipation, like, oh my God, oh my God and um, gets the little house tour. I don't know what they're doing because you'd think this would have come long before you like, oh, it's 10 o'clock, let's go to bed, honey. I don't know, for some reason, this happens. So last night, I fell asleep pretty quick. As Soon as Lily and I were in bed, lights out, I was out. I was too exhausted, she understood. So I'll have to make it up to her. Say so what, you, you fell asleep? You, you haven't seen this girl in so long and you get there why are you wasting time looking at the ice machine or the ass machine as she calls it and ass and ass ice and ass they all sound the same but anyway why are you doing all that you should have been in that bedroom i don't understand but uh he fell asleep on her oof oof oh well there's always tomorrow night he can make it up to her or tomorrow day or tomorrow morning you know it doesn't have to always be at night people but anyway i digress let's press on but lily is all excited because she's planning her wedding i guess the wedding they didn't have before they had a cookie not to be confused with a quickie they had a quickie in the united states um and she wants to have a full-blown thing over there with all the chinese you know stuff which i get um pretty penny and she's always complaining but anyway they're going out to try on wedding garb in her beautiful uh, white bmw that's Interior is all pink. Very cute, very appropriate for her, I guess. And Josh is already just looking like that kept man just sitting there in the driver's seat as she, she drives him around. I mean, it's like a little baby. You just want to dress him up when you get them, you know? And, oh, Josh, I don't know. And all this stuff is going to be very expensive. And, of course, she lets him know that. But, you know, she feels this. I Josh yeah, he's broke and he can't work over there and you knew that. So you get what you get and you don't get upset. That's it, Lily, you just got to deal with it. He ain't working for freaking five years. So settle in, settle in. A little squabbling on actually who wanted this big shindig of a wedding. But you know what? Josh is a yes man and he's learning his role real quick. But for their first day, instead of spending it in a joyous reunion in the boudoir, they are just talking about money and Lily is letting it known. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet, and Lily is constantly mentioning she has no money. It's a stab in the heart, because she knows that I can't work while I'm here. Yep, Lily has no money, and Josh is all dressed up in his cute little outfit. I don't know, Josh, you're going to have to grow a set soon. But anyway, I follow this nonsense every week, so if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next week.